I loved the freedom that I had. I saw I had so much more educational freedom and just freedom with, I had more time than my school, traditionally schooled counterparts. And I loved that. I flourished in that. Um, But I want to go back in the beginning of the first episode, Greta, you talked about having been homeschooled yourself. And I think mm-hmm. you said fourth grade through 12th grade, you were yeah. homeschooled. Talk about your experience of being homeschooled. I, I love second generation homeschool parents because they come with such a different perspective than most of us who were not homeschooled growing up. Um, so I would love to hear what your experience was like. What did you love about homeschooling? Maybe what you didn't love um, and just how that has shaped who you are today as a homeschool mom. Yeah, this is one of my favorite topics. Uh, I will start with a story. I loved being homeschooled so much that by the time I was 13, I think, I decided when I had kids of my own, I would homeschool. And so when I started dating my husband, we were on our second date, and I was 18 years old. And um, I said, hey, by the way, I'm going to be homeschooling my kids when I have them someday. (laughs) So if you're not okay with that, we probably shouldn't keep seeing each other. And um, <laughs> love that. that was like a line in the sand for me. Like nice. I am, this is a big deal. Um, that's how much it meant to me is that uh-huh. I was committed to it so much so that I would tell this guy who I had dated one time yeah. that th- this was the trajectory I saw for my life. And so I think that gives an indication of how much I loved it. Yeah. Homeschooling to me, I loved the freedom that it allowed me. I had, you know, I could get through my schoolwork as fast as I could so that I could go work at the library or go babysit or just go read in my treehouse in the backyard. Um, I loved the freedom that I had. I saw I had so much more educational freedom and just freedom with I had more time yeah. than my school traditionally schooled counterparts. And I loved that. I flourished in that. Um, I also loved the opportunity to take time, um, like freedom with with time again, but in terms of like my schoolwork. So there were some things that I needed more time with, you know, like math was something that I struggled with. And so I needed more time and other subjects like reading or writing, I could whiz through. And I love that freedom too. But I would say the thing that impacted me the most and that I have carried with me um, into my own schooling of my own kids is the relationship aspect of homeschooling. The um, ability to just really form strong, lasting connection with my parents Mm. because we had so much time together. And that is a precious gift. And so since I loved it so much, myself with them, I knew I wanted that with my kids. And I have to say 13 years in to homeschooling my own kids, um, it, it's the best part, the relational part, getting to have all that time to spend together. It is something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Yeah. Oh, I love that answer. And I am right there with you. I was not homeschooled, of course, growing up, but the relationship that I have with my girls Mm -hmm. far outweighs any hardship or struggle of homeschooling. And I I mean, there's just nothing better than being able to spend time with, with our kids. And uh, it, it is such an absolute blessing this week that we're recording this right now. As a matter of fact, my girls are both at summer camp with their American heritage girls troop. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that they've both been away from me like this for, you know, they're, they're gone for a total of, you know, four and a half days. And I told Garrett, I was like, I feel like I'm missing two limbs. Like, it's just so weird. And it's not that I can't stand to be away from my kids, but I just, they're just part of our world all the time. And so I, and you I like miss them. being with them, right? I like, like being with them. We love being with our kids. Yes. And I I can't, I could never relate to the parents that I would talk to who their kids are in traditional school. And they would say, I could never homeschool. Like they're home with me just for the summer. And I'm yeah. like just dying at the end because I just need them to go back to school. And I think part of that is because they're not used to being together all the time, like we are as homeschoolers. And, and so I always say, I think you'd be surprised you would be able to do it. And actually you would learn to love it, but you just haven't had the chance, you know, because you really do grow to love being with your kids. And they're just 
they, they, I delight in them. I really, yeah. really love them. Yeah, I do need breaks word. sometimes, but. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we all do. And there's no saying, shame in saying that. <laughs> no, not at all. I have no, zero qualms saying, hey, uh, I need a break. Yeah. That's totally okay. But, but um, on the whole, I really love to be with them. Yeah. I love that you say that you delight in being with your kids because, because I do as well. And I've said this before on the podcast, but I'll say it for those maybe who are new to listening. I have often had people say, you know, the same, same that you've heard people say that I couldn't stand being with my kids. I could never stand homeschooling them and being with them all day, every day. And my answer to them is that's because you're not the one raising them. Someone else is raising them for 40 plus hours a week Mm -hmm. for, you know, 36 weeks or so during their life, you know, or, you know, during the year. And, um, and when someone else is raising them, they're being raised with someone else's standards and discipline and training and everything else. And when it's not you, they're not going to act the way that you want them to act. They're not going to behave according to your family's standards. And I think a lot of parents just don't realize that they're like, what in the world, you know, is going on with my kids? I'm like, just take them back, take them back and give it time. Like you said, give it time, start implementing your own discipline and rules and, and do things, you know, use things like Brett's new book, hundred days of adventure. These are the things that build those relationships for those parents who are bringing their kids home this year. I know it's a really scary thing. There are so many parents who, for the first time, they're like, okay, we're done with the schools. We're bringing them home. And now we don't know what to do. Start here. Well, start with God's word. Always. That's always where we start. Start with the word of God, learn about his creation, and then go out and explore it together. And you start building that relationship with your kids through adventure and through reading and through just developing um, memories with them. And you watch how your kids behavior will change. Yeah, I guarantee it. It absolutely will. Um, But if you sit them down and try to get them to do school, like they've done in the public school or in a private school for their whole life, and you try to recreate that, that's going to cause some kind of conflict and frustration yeah. because it's going to look different. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, go adventure with your kids. Yeah. So, just inviting them to sit on the couch with you to do school together side by side. And when it's difficult, you're there, are you know, your shoulders are touching and you put your yeah. arm around them and you can say, Hey, I'm sorry, this is a tough lesson. Why don't we have a cup of tea together? And, and then we'll come back to it. Like having the, the freedom to do that and to yep. make even learning relational yep. and connecting that is true transformational. Right. And, and that's the kind of thing that you can do when you homeschool your kids. And it's, it's just such a blessing. It's such a gift. And it's, and when we remember that, we remember that it's a gift and we have the freedom to make it be what is best for our kids and best for our family. It just changes it all. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 